So they've been selling it for a while, you know, a while ago. And there are X12 servos all around, and uh, it uh, is sold in the full configuration with the body, the head, and the arms. But I got only legs, uh, pretty cheap on eBay. Hmm. The kind of made it work. Nice. There is a controller CM510 here, and you can load actual gate into that controller. So it will actually move the feet or stop or turn. Uh, there is Arduino on the back of this robot and pixie camera that is connected to Arduino. Basically, Arduino uh, is uh, just uh, sending the command to walk. If it sees the cone, it will try to correct the um, uh, direction. If it is too close, it will stop and initiate the turn. Or the turn will be initiated by the timing. So there are several ways, kind of fail-safe uh, uh, plan for that whole thing. Uh, the interface between Arduino and this CM510 is just one line and different <coughs> voltages. So certain voltage is work, uh, go forward, then another voltage is uh, turn left, another voltage is turn right. Not that many commands, it's very easy to do through this type of uh, interface. I could make it uh, work otherwise. Anyway. Let's try see what uh, it will do. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm doing now is I'm initiating the boot up sequence on the CM510 and it does the original uh, initial posture and then I will turn the Arduino and after a little bit of kind of connecting and waiting for about six seconds, it will start walking and hopefully it will not fall down. But it will walk in... It will not walk uh, in, in a line, it will divert. And hopefully now it sees the cone. And when the cone is way too off the... Mm. Front view, it is supposed to stop. Oh, ah, there you go. It's probably too far for the face to camp. Yeah, yeah, and that's the timing and everything else. So, I mean, that's a little bit different. The red light came on, which means it sees red. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. And by the way, maybe uh, now it sees red uh, again. Sure. And of course, uh, I mean, I'm losing the contest at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the contest doesn't say I cannot yeah. win. <laughs> I could, be, I could be wearing uh, red pants, for example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. You could have rigged it. <laughs> the pants do have a red stripe. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's right. You it's should have like, walked around them you know, without telling us anything. <laughs> yeah, go stand in front of it. See if it follows you. <laughs> all, all, I, all I can do is to move cold and look at it. Yeah, it has its own mind, that's for sure. Yeah. I actually adjusted the turning sequence, the correction sequence. You see it is way too short. It just makes one step and that, that's it. Is that three servos on each leg? It is one, two, um, at least four, I guess. Yeah. You know, but when you assemble it and you run the CM510, you kind of tend to forget what went into it. It just kind of works. I wonder if the wood and the floor maybe looks kind of ready yeah. to it. So yeah. the yeah. Pixie Cam is uh, taking this thing very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it's, it's very discriminated. I find the pixie cams, though, have a problem with the lighting in the room. Like, if you have less lighting than maybe if you're at your house, that it's, it's you know, if that's a big cone, it can see that. But no. some things like that refrigerator handle that I brought over here, whatever it is, it has trouble seeing it from more than six feet. Too mm. close to the, the cone, uh, so the cone lighting was big yeah. in the uh, yeah. camera yeah. operation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to go back, but it doesn't. Well, 